Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. I'm here to talk about this printer. This printer is a wireless networking printer. And it actually made me sick and that's why I'm doing this video is so that if you have one of these printers that if you're exhibiting the same kind of sickness that I was, well, it may actually be your printer that's doing it. So the sickness that showed up in me, it kind of came on very quickly over a period of five days. And it started out with just fuzzy thinking on the first day. And then the second day I was starting to get dizzy. And then the third day I had insomnia. And on the fourth and fifth day, I was like really fatigued from lack of sleep, from all the insomnia. And I had headaches during the process as well. So it's pretty typical of what they call radio wave sickness. So this printer actually gave me radio wave sickness. I was sitting just two feet away from it. And the interesting thing is that this printer was only switched on over daytime. It was actually switched off over nighttime. So it wasn't 24 hours of exposure. It was maybe like 12 hours of exposure each day that did that to me. So we got two meters. We're going to use these two meters to see what the wireless network adapter is doing inside this printer. And the printer's currently off. So on the left, we have this meter. This one is recording the radio fields. And it's basically reading zero millivolts per meter. Now this one is recording milliwatts per meter squared. And it currently is reading 0 0.0006 right now. It has a little bar graph on the right as well that you can see. So have very little wireless radiation going on in this area right now. So all that's gonna change when I plug it in. So let's go ahead and plug in the wireless networking printer and see what happens. So I actually got it down to the fact that I was actually sitting in a thousand millivolts per meter field as indicated by this meter when I got sick and that was coming from the network adapter that is inside this printer. And shortly we should see that radiation level spike up when the network adapter comes on. So we need to give a little minute and then the network adapter will activate and we will see the wireless radiation fields come out of this. And they're very, very large, the fields. I was quite shocked at how powerful they are. So the printer is still warming up. And once it's done its warm up, you'll see the wireless field. So the wireless field has just switched on. And as you can see, on the right side, we see the bar graph. It's recording how that field changed. So you can see that we had a very sharp rise in wireless radiation levels. And that field is actually continuous. So that field is what made me sick. And there's a lot of people getting what's known as radio wave sickness and electromagnetic hypersensitivity around devices like this. And they just don't realize that these fields are actually biologically harmful. So that was our field reading for milliwatts per meter squared. And right now it's actually reading 0.5 milliwatts per meter squared. And as you can see on this meter over here, we're actually reading about 1200 millivolts per meter. So you can see that that field is it's quite large. And this is, this is what I was sitting in. This is what made me sick. And this sickness is very easily rectified simply by turning off your Wi-Fi items. If you want to know more about this subject and the extensive range of plant growth defects that these fields are known to cause, you'll find it in this book. It's called Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.